One of the most unique character relationships in the Marvel Universe is that between Spider-Man and Deadpool. At times being mistaken for one another in public, their relationship could be considered a bromance to some, but to others they could be seen as enemies. At one time, their love-hate relationship led them to a conversation where Spider-Man jokingly told Deadpool that he wasn't sure if he was the real Deadpool. To prove that he was really Deadpool, he immediately shot himself in the heart. However, with his healing factor in play, he was able to take the bullet. With a hole in his heart, the Merc with a mouth began to pour out the rest of his heart to Spider-Man, asking him what were a couple of bullets in the heart among amazing friends. While continuing their conversation on top of a roof, Deadpool became confused as to why there were webs preventing the door from being opened. Peter began to explain that for the past couple of weeks as he had been out in public, he would get stabbed unexpectedly, but could not find the culprit when he turned around to find out who stabbed him. Peter admitted that he was on edge after his run-ins with his mysterious foe, and that he had even swung at a pregnant lady. As Peter was talking about his troubles, the web block door was opened by a group of maintenance workers. Spider-Man bolted without any further confrontation. Deadpool shortly followed Spidey but ended up losing him. While he was walking down the stairs, Deadpool followed the screams of civilians and knew that there was trouble. He quickly found out that the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man was in the center of it. To his surprise, Deadpool walked in to see his webbed friend holding a woman in the air by her throat. Peter was convinced that the woman was a villain named Chameleon, shapeshifting into average people and that he was the one causing him all of his recent troubles. Feeling that Spider-Man had the wrong idea, Deadpool tried to convince his friend that he was taking things too far with this hostage. Peter complied and let the woman go, just to get stabbed in the neck with a syringe from the Chameleon in disguise as the very same woman. After Spider-Man was stabbed, Deadpool tossed the Chameleon right out the window to certain death. With his last ounce of energy, Peter caught the chameleon with a web, stating to Deadpool that they shouldn't kill. Spider-Man then passed out from the syringe so that Deadpool had to carry him back to his room to get him away from the others who wanted to see Spider-Man's identity. The thought crossed Deadpool's mind that the chameleon could still be in the building waiting for a shot at Spider-Man. To beat the chameleon, Deadpool figured that they could pull a quick one on him and beat him at his own game. Deadpool began to put on Spider-Man's suit and went out to act on his behalf donning a new identity, Spidey Pool. As he went outside, he ended up getting all sorts of hate from the citizens. One woman, however, took an interest in him and asked to get a picture with the infamous Spider-Man. But it was just the chameleon back again to get Spider-Man. Unfortunately, he once again got away before he could be identified. While in search of the shape-shifting villain, a woman began to cry out as a robber was stealing her purse. Deadpool took no pity on the robber and knocked him out clean with a kick to the face. To resolve his problems as Spidey would, he then tied the robber to the back of a cop car with his webs. Spidey Pool went on throughout the day doing his part to be the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man that Peter was by saving the city from a criminal named Master, a villain who had the ability to control snakes when his failed experiment on a mouse led to a T-Rex-sized mouse terrorizing the city. With Deadpool's guard down after his recent victory, the chameleon struck again by stabbing Deadpool in the neck with a syringe, leaving him incredibly loopy things were not looking great for the anti-hero until out of nowhere Peter Parker, now disguised as Deadpool, came to the rescue. To make things interesting, the chameleon shapeshifted into the same look as Peter in the Deadpool suit, leaving the drugged up mercenary with a gun to figure out who was the chameleon and who was Peter. Deadpool was able to figure out which one was the real Spider-Man by saying that he was going to kill them both so that he could take on the persona of Spider-Man for good. Peter was quick to confront which exposed his morals, leaving the imposter out to be shot. The chameleon was shot in the kneecap and quickly reverted back to his original form. In the end, the two had saved the day with one another's identities. They went on the next day to admire their work in the newspaper as their strange frenemy relationship continued. Thanks so much for watching this video. We really appreciate the support on our videos here at Hero History. So if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like or a comment on the video and subscribe for more like it. Thanks again, and as always, have a marvelous day.